Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? The Cave of the Brute. So you're looking to actually start getting towards the Megapithecus. Well, today we're going to be talking about how to easily and quickly get the Cave of the Brute. I've already got a few things set up. Let's actually get down there. Um, I've already pre-cleared the way. So where we can get in there, get out of there, and just get the artifact as quick as possible. Now, there's a couple things on the shopping list that you definitely want before you try this. One is you probably want... I, uh, I would recommend actually a bred and imprinted uh basilosaurus one that's actually kind of decent mine actually started out pretty good uh, it's not the best by far but it is decent now inside this cave you can actually meet up with all sorts of different things you can get um Oh, Mosas, you can get Tusos, you can get Alpha varieties of just about everything in there. Now, granted, this is considered the easier of the two underwater caves for a reason. While you can get the Alphas and stuff, they are kind of rare in there, but you do get them, just so you know. But there are a couple different places that you can kind of go in and deal with them a little bit and stuff. But uh, today we're just going to get in, get the artifact, get out of there. And uh, yeah, I just had to kind of pre-warn you because sometimes you can meet up with some pretty nasty stuff in there. So come prepared. And uh, also, just like every single cave, um, I tell everybody, only bring what you're prepared to lose. All right, and of course we start off getting attacked by a shark as we're getting ready to go down. But okay, so now a couple of the things that I didn't mention off the shopping list is you're definitely gonna wanna have at least one or two pieces of scuba tank with you combined with your flippers and then also your, uh, uh, I, would, I would recommend the uh, pants. They're not absolutely necessary, but it does help. Now also make sure that when you come in with your Basilosaurus, that you also make sure, like, I mean, reiterate that it is um, imprinted because it does help quite a bit as you're going down in. Now you come down in here and you can actually notice that the cave entrance right here is illuminated by these crystals. Then we curve around to the left, go inside, and then you have to make sure that your health on your Basilosaurus is decent. Mine is at about 40k. It was bred at 30k. I've leveled it up a little bit. Uh, the melee damage is kind of important. I have mine over 400. That's really all you're shooting for on this. And then all you do is just press through as you're going. And then you make your way up through this cave, right up in here past this crystal here on the left and then you go to the right just a little bit this is a one-way cave so i mean you're not going to have to worry about getting lost here in this section right here let's go flip in make sure we don't get attacked now like i said i have already pre-cleared it so where we don't have a ton of issues that are going to uh come in but also make sure that you pay attention to this crystal on the right because when you're coming back out this place does get really really dark so you want to make sure that uh oh uh that you keep an eye out for that blue crystal and i'm going to come out here really quick and i'm going to show you guys exactly where this is on the map because i've realized i totally forgot that all right let's get out here this should be good. Yeah, right there on the map. All right, so we're at 54.5 and about 3.9, 3.5-ish. And then you just, that, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to find once you actually notice where, once you know where it is, it's really easy to find. But it can actually take you a little bit on your first try to find it. But once you actually realize where it's at, it's so much easier. All right, and then... Also, you want to make sure that you've got your flippers. I had my Crocs on, but yeah. All right, so let's go in and let's go uh, grab this artifact. All right, once again, this blue rock. And with how dark it is in here, I cannot reiterate just how important it is to make sure you know where that one is because it'll mark your way out because this little section right here is dark, but it, the cave eventually lightens up quite a bit, but that section is very, very dark. Right, and you can go and come in here with a uh, land dino if you are wanting to come in and get the uh, XP boxes and then also some of the loot that spawns on the bit. You want to make sure that you do have a land dino with you or that you have something with you that can go. But if you're on public servers, I'm sorry with the cryopods, you can't do that. I'm doing this on a single player, so yeah. All right, now if you uh, 
come into that area to the right right there that is a way that you can go in and you can lose one of the alphas you can kind of get him stuck in there but uh yeah just hope that doesn't happen all right now you come up here you go straight up like this you go through this channel and then you curve your way around to the right now this is kind of a one-way entrance so you go well not one way it's it there's no path go, leading off this but yeah you just work your way all the way through this little channel right here curve around to the left and then right into this big room now this big room it can have some rather big things in it a lot of times it'll have electrophorus uh, snideria also has the xenofish and then also has a place to breathe up here if you need to now if you're looking to get the land stuff right up there is the pathway that you have to take um, go up that way you can um, grab a shotgun or whatnot fight your way through there there's gonna be scorpions bats and uh, dung beetles usually and also spiders and then you curve your way underneath that little entrance and then you go up inside of here now right in here is where the artifact of the brute is it's actually really easy to get for the most part and then it is located right there on this shelf but I've already been in here um, when I was in here clearing it I looted it but I will bring you guys back here in a minute just so I can show you exactly where it's at because that is really really important all right right here it is this is the artifact of the brute right there I picked that one up but you can only carry one at a time so once you have that all you do is turn right back around make sure that you uh, yeah I took this off while I was waiting make sure you have your scuba tank on and then follow your way right back out just the way you came and I'll show you the path just so where you guys know exactly the direction that you need to go Go out this way. Follow your way right back through this channel. And right through here. And also, I would... Even coming out of this cave, I would recommend uh, exercising caution. Take it slow. You're not in a hurry. Uh, just because, uh, I mean, if something wants to jump out at you, it can really cause you to have a really, really bad day. And then right back through here. And right back to the entrance right through this way to the right all right once you come out of the artifact or cave all you have to do is come right up here and I'll show you a landmark right here and the reason why I'm heading like this is just so I can show you the exact landmark that all you have to do is go to it then you go out here and dive straight down and it's the this little bit of rocks right here on the map at right there it's this little slope Come here and then head directly northwest and then you'll be able to go right down to the cave very simple very easy I hope you uh, video helps you out um, yeah if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button I really appreciate it if you're new around here subscribe and until next time this is flinger and take it easy everybody